For the third year in a row, Brock Zierfoss embarked on the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Tour with his family-owned team out of Pennsylvania. Early in the year, Zierfoss struggled in qualifying, which often left him starting far back when feature time came. But the Jonestown Jet was always on the move in the main event. In the first six races of the season, Zierfoss passed a combined total of 50 cars, including two nights in which he drove by more than 10. An 18th to 10th run at Volusia Speedway Park during bike week netted his first top 10 of the series. Early April saw Zierfoss nab a top five as he drove Milton Hershey School 3Z to a fifth place outing at US 36 Raceway. Zierfoss combated some struggles over the next month, but he and the Todd Burkheimer led crew rebounded with a revitalizing sixth place effort at Atomic Speedway in late May. Only a few races later, Brock grabbed another top 10 with an eighth place finish in the series debut at Minnesota's Ogilvy Raceway. Over the course of the rest of the year, Zierfoss showed flashes of strength with solid runs at Weed Sports Speedway and again at the Jackson Motorplex. He had a memorable drive at River City Speedway in late August. After starting 22nd, getting upside down, making a trip to the work area, and returning to the track without a nose wing, Zierfoss still managed to wheel his way forward to 10. His final top 10 of the 2023 season came during the Devil's Bowl Speedway finale weekend when he finished 7th on the first of two nights of racing. When the final checkered flag waved, Zierfoss found himself ninth in the standings, enough to match his personal best with the greatest show on dirt. Now with a trio of years with the tour under his belt, the notebook continues to go for Brock Zierfoss and his team, and he'll look forward to parlaying that added experience into more progress when 2024 begins.